Thank you, Hilda. Um, in this session, we're going to be talking about um, Kaupapa Māori or Māori worldview. Um, we hope that by having a little bit of understanding about Māori worldview, that you'll be able to bring this through to your use and practice. The whole reason why we are learning about all of this is because as nurses, we are required to be to provide culturally safe care, and also, um, particularly with regards to Māori nursing competency 1.2 um, from New Zealand Nursing Council, um, particularly applies to Māori, and that's about upholding the Treaty of Waitangi in their nursing practice. And one way to uphold that Treaty of Waitangi is. Um, through having a good understanding of Māori values and Māori worldview. So what we're going to look at um, in this session is um, Kaupapa Māori health concepts, look at Māori health models and discuss how we can apply these to our nursing practice. Uh, so one of the concepts of Māori worldview is uh, we look at wairuatanga, which is the spiritual connection to the natural environment. Um, it's the unseen and unspoken energy. Māori scholar called Mason Jury, who um, uh, invented the Whare Takafa, which is a model of Māori well-being that we can use in our, in our practice to assess um, Māori health issues. Um, so those unseen and spoken and unspoken energies, Māori, um, have a strong connection to what um, their what we call the our tipuna, which are our ancestors, who um, we see as sort of our protectors and someone that will or that guide us through uh, our and are important to um, acknowledge in our culture and our customs and our traditions and in our daily life. Another concept of Māori worldview is whakapapa. So whakapapa is our uh, links to um, our ancestors, to our, our genealogy. Whakapapa also links us to our land. Um, through through our genealogy, whakapapa uh, is one of the cornerstones of Māori worldview. So for Nonatanga is um, our ability to connect through Whakapapa. So it improves our reciprocal obligations that are inherent in Whakapapa relationships. And it's an important ritual of encounter. So um, often if you either go to a marae or um, uh, go to any um, ceremonies, any Kaupapa Māori ceremonies, we will have a process, um, a formal process of the Nonatanga in that is um, where I will stand up and I will say my name and where I come from and um, what that does is it lets everybody know about me in the room but it also um, lets them make connections to maybe whether we're from the same area um, or whether we have the same similar beliefs in, in, our, in each tribe or um, in, in families. Another um, important con concept of uh, Māori worldview is uh, is kaitiaki tanga, which are uh, in Māori worldview people are linked to all living and non-living things. They are part of nature and, and biodiversity. Guardianship of ecosystems is the responsibility of man, and the well-being of natural resources reflects the mana of the whānau, hapu, and iwi. And so, what we're talking about here is that. Um, in terms of Māori world, we believe that uh, we are here to care for, to, to be the guardian of, um, and to make sure that our environment and our natural resources that are, um, that sustain us, uh, we, that it's a reciprocal relationship. So we don't just take, take, take off the land, we um, also make sure that we nurture it um, so that it can keep giving us um, nourishment and a place to live. Um, this is also similar to some of the understandings of uh, land from Māori worldview because um, traditionally Māori didn't actually own land in terms of individual ownership. They only owned land um, in terms of a collective. So Māori uh, 
traditionally their societies were a very collective society and um, there was no place for individualism. Uh, another concept of Māori worldview is called um, Tōtahitanga, which um, is a unifying uh, value of um, an expression of oneness, and it's linked to Whanaunatanga, and it is really about having strength and unity. So even though we acknowledge that Māori don't all look um, or, or act the same and we all are different, we all have our own bit, uh, some differences, there is some strength, and we are all linked through Fanona Tonga because we are uh, Māori. The next value that uh, is um, is upheld in that is upheld in Māori is called Manaka Tonga. Uh, so this is about acknowledging the mana of others. It's that it, it includes our ability to care for others and maintain um, relationships and mana. So by Manaki Tanga, we, it means that we um, have respect and we acknowledge what other people bring uh, to to a relationship. Um, and basically, um, because we do that, it helps um, facilitate the relationships that we have with each other and with other people and with others. So Māori models of health, which is um, what we're sort of moving towards in this lecture, is um, it's a modern concept. We use frameworks that um, use uh, Māori concepts. So these Māori models of health are used as assessment tools to guide policy and program development, and also they're used to critique some existing policy and programs that um, in New Zealand have not served um, Māori well, uh, but tend to have served Western the Western dominant culture. So one of these um, Māori models of health is the Whare Tuka Whā, which um, uh, invented by Sir Mason Jury. It is the most commonly known model. Um, it has dimensions of whānau, wairua, hini māru and humana. Um, the emphasis is placed on balance between all four dimensions. And it is a useful um, nursing assessment tool because it is very holistic in nature. Um, Fano uh, considers uh, the social aspect of uh, well-being. Waidu considers the spiritual aspect. Hininaro considers the psychological and mental aspect, and Atunana um, considers our physical well-being. So what's important with um, the Whare Tapa is that like a house, um, it is represented as a house um, with four walls and there's emphasis on um, balance between all four dimensions. So you can't have one uh, one wall of the house not uh, not not well because otherwise the whole house will fall down. So that's why we say that each dimension is um, inextricably linked to the other and sometimes for in Māori families and you know, um, you might find that um, you know a big part of the reason um, or a big part of you're looking after a Māori patient is that you also need to look after um, things that might be going on in the family as well. Okay, so yeah, here's just um, reiterating that the four dimensions are whānau, uh, wairua, hininaru and tinana. Think of each dimension as being a pillar in a house and you need all four or else your house will fall down. So just talk a little bit more about Fano. This is um, identity which um, is related to Whakatoka. So Fano provides Māori um, with a sense of a strong sense of identity and we know identity is important um, in health. People with strong sense with a strong sense of identity have better health outcomes than people with um, lower self-esteem or or um, poor sense of identity. Uh, Fano also is a concept that considers um, extended family, community, and a sense of belonging. Um, it also considers support, um, emotional, material, and social support that it gains from um, Fano uh, and caring and sharing. 
Wairua is where we talk about that spiritual connection to the natural environment. It might be about religious practices and beliefs, but it might not be. It might um, also just be how we view the world. And it, Wairua permeates every aspect of our human life. So, uh, from Māori worldview, you know, when I was saying before that we really um, can have connections with our people now, our past, um, and I. Um, and they permeate every aspect of our life. In Inaro, we consider our emotional well-being, cognitive functioning, communication, self comprehension, and self-esteem. So all of these things are important when we look at um, mental. Tinana, physical well-being, growth and development, nutrition, mobility, elimination, independent consideration given to personal space. So this is all the um, uh, physical things that we think of uh, or that we assess for a tinana. Um, just a little thing in there about consideration given to personal space. Some cultures have quite, um, you know, like to have a lot of personal space and some cultures don't. Uh, for Māori, uh, uh, culturally it is um, inappropriate to um, touch people's heads so without asking. So, um, you know, you have to con give some consideration to that in your practice. Um, another core thing um, or core value for Māori worldview is um, Te Reo Māori, which is which is the um, Māori word for um, Māori language. So um, we know that language carries a worldview, and so that's how we communicate and understand um, how we express ourselves, how we understand others, how we learn is um, a big part of it is through language. So um, if we lose uh, the language, which is um, quite a, which was which happened in New Zealand's history, there was successes, successive legislation and governments that um, prohibited the use of Māori language. Um, then if the language had have completely died, then the culture would have died. So this is just a, um, a reminder of how important language um, is really important in Māori worldview. Um, language identity, whakapapa, whenua are significant determinants, determinants for um, Māori health. So um, research shows that we need um, to look at these things when we're looking about when we're looking at health for Māori and, and trying to change some of those um, negative health statistics that we see for Māori. So, um, if you just have a, a, a little um, think about how um, situations from your own practice and how you might apply this knowledge in your practice um, in, in your when you're practicing um, according to the New Zealand National Council of Competency. So, for example, if you were looking at um, meeting a competency uh, in the, about assessment from the New Zealand National Council of Competency, then or, or using evidence based practice. Um, one way that you might do that is by um, considering using uh, the Whare Tapa Whā um, for an assessment tool opposed to a uh, westernised model. And that's uh, all for this uh, PowerPoint presentation. Thank you.